Hey friends, gonna start another one of these what I wore this week videos. They're gonna, I think, be more spread out because I'm sort of filming them at the same time as my reading videos, but because they create so many minutes of content, I feel like I need to do them separately. But I don't wanna like wear the same outfit, so that makes sense. So um, I don't think it really matters what day of the week it is to you who's watching, but they're not gonna be consecutive days. Um, I'm going out to work outside the house because I cannot seem to get my shit together and concentrate so when that happens sometimes I just need to leave and go sit somewhere in a cafe or whatever and do some focus work so top to bottom I'm wearing this sweatshirt which is actually Tom's it's from Colourful Standard it's one of my favourite ethical sustainable brands he has the whole matching tracksuit I think this is the slate blue colour I think it's really pretty actually and looks really good with this tie on Gilet, which is also his. I'm wearing more Tom today. <laughs> um, but it was still like, I think it might rain, but I'm just gonna take an umbrella because it's still really warm out. And then underneath this sweatshirt, I have a stripy long sleeve. This is super old. It's my mum's. <laughs> like she was getting rid of it and it's old school American apparel, which is so funny because that doesn't even exist anymore. But it's one of my favorite t-shirts, partly because it was hers and partly because it's super soft. And in my hair, I'm wearing this little, maroon and white polka dot headscarf because my hair is very like slippery today on the bottom i have on those zara trousers that i have worn previously you've seen them loads they're like a super loose wide leg frayed jean almost but they are super comfy and like not stiff like a traditional denim they're definitely very worn in they're second hand and on my feet i'm wearing my new balances with the lilac and beige which i think look quite cool with this outfit very chill also throwing on my bag from north face because i've got my laptop like i said i'm going out to do work i think this is quite a casual but smart little fit so i'm gonna try and get quicker at recording these so they're not um extremely long like the last ones but very into gilets at the moment i think they look really cute and it's a friday i want to be comfy but i don't want to look like a slob so I think instead of wearing a full tracksuit with the jeans, it looks pretty cute. So that's the fit. See you soon. Hey friends, it's Saturday. We're going to get boosted and also run a couple of errands. So this is what I'm wearing. It's still kind of warm, but um, I wanted to have easy access. So I'm wearing a jumper, but this is vintage. I got it at the IJ at the same time I got that grey one I showed you last time. My Sherpa Gilet is also vintage. And underneath, I'm just wearing a thick cotton t-shirt, which is from Cos. I got it in the sale at the same time I got those linen trousers and that white shirt I showed you. That was sort of my autumn purchases. I did an order from Cos. Um, they were having a sale. So let me show you the rest of the fit. There isn't much to to it to be honest it's um these weekday i think they're the ace jeans they're very baggy and long i like the fit they're very comfy they're definitely more casual than those new levi ones i bought but they're my like go-to weekend chill jeans i'm not wearing any socks for some reason my feet feel hot today and i've got my Birkenstock clogs on and i'm carrying a very old american apparel tote bag that's got my paperwork for my vaccination a book and um, a water bottle. So that's the rig, nothing too special. No makeup on today because I'm not feeling great. Sorry if you can hear the washing machine and <laughs> you can see all the washing. Um, we're having a bit of a chores day under the assumption that tomorrow we probably won't be feeling so great. So that is the fit. I washed my hair this morning, but I've got it up in a claw clip and yeah. I'm gonna go out, so I'll see you guys maybe tomorrow, if not Monday. Hey friends, a few days, no video. It's been, yet again, a bit of a write-off week, but it's Thursday and my mum is coming into town just now. I'm late to go and pick her up, but I'll show you what I'm wearing. Uh, we're going to the spa later, so I wanted something comfy, like, cause we're gonna get wet and then you don't wanna put on like jeans and shit, you know? So this is comfy, casual. But we are going out for some nice meals and stuff, so there will be some more formal outfits later in this video. 
So I'm wearing this coat, which is from our cat. It's a sort of like inside out Sherpa fleece with a green lining. It's quite lightweight, but it's still very warm. It's definitely dropped in temperature here, but it's not yet freezing. Underneath, I have one of my favorite cardigans and one of my favorite secondhand purchases from last year. It's this periwinkle blue thick cable knit cardigan. I think I showed you the cream version in a the previous one of these videos, but this is the original one I bought. It's an extra large. I see them all the time on eBay and Vinted. It's H&M originally, and I paid like a tenner for it, and I love it. And then underneath, I just have a simple white t-shirt. Trousers-wise, I was wearing different trousers, but Tom noticed a big stain on them, so I took them off. These are a woolen ribbed knit trouser. Super comfortable, super casual, but like smart enough, that very like minimal sort of scandy vibe, um, elasticated waist, kind of high-waisted and for a high street pair of wool, like they, they've held up really well actually. And I think they, um, yeah, have like some legs in them in terms of quality. So I think these are originally and other stories. I bought them at least two years ago. And then I'm wearing my classic uh, New Balance shoes with a purple sock. I need to talk to you about socks later because I just redid my sock wardrobe and these are a pair I'm wearing from Calcedonia. They're a wool cashmere blend. They are five euros and that's the best price I've seen for a natural blend sock in a very long time. That's the fit. Oh, I'm also taking this bag to carry it everywhere. And this goes with the fit. It's got my stuff for the spa, but also my laptop because of course I'm running behind on a deadline for work. So that's the fit. I will catch you tomorrow with an outfit for going shopping in. Hey friends, it's Friday and my mum's here and we're going out shopping and then we're checking into a hotel tonight to like be with her so we don't have to keep going back and forth. So I just packed my bag and I thought I'd show you what I'm wearing for shopping. Um, this is the rig. Uh, so I'm wearing, this is kind of a riff on the outfit I wore in the last video because I'm Really into neckerchiefs and only have this red one at the minute. So this is vintage. This jacket is also vintage. It's like a recycled um, quilted bomber. I got it from Wolf and Gypsy in Brighton, which it used to be, or still is, one of my favorite vintage shops in the world. They have the best curated selection. And I bought this a couple of years ago. I think they sell them online as well. And I think they're so classic. They're like almost like a duvet kind of style, really worn in. They also have one in city green that I've been eyeing for a long time. Underneath, I'm just wearing a V-neck woolen jumper. This is from Burberry. It was vintage. I got it on Vinted for about 30 quid, which I feel like is such a deal for vintage burp. Um, these are the same Levi jeans that I also showed in another video. If I can get you down even lower. Yeah, is that better? My only complaint or like the thing I wish, they're super high-waisted, which I love, but I do kind of wish I got them in a shorter leg. I think they offered a 30, but for me, I'm, I think my ideal leg is a 31, which is like quite awkward and more common in men's jeans than I find in women's jeans. So yeah, I do have to cuff them, which I do like, but for some reason, I'm also wearing new red woolen socks, which I told you I was going to buy. I got them at Chalcedonia. Um, and yeah, I like how they pop through, but I think if these were shorter jeans, obviously you'd like see them more kind of giving me a bit like 60s Brighton mod rocker which is a very specific reference unless you live by the beach and watch the men come down once a month on their motorbikes you probably are like what you're talking about people know what mods are though yeah but I feel like the Brian dad mod is such a specific vibe oh, today. um so yeah this is that and then I'm wearing with my red socks my monkey boots from Doc Martin which are also a very mod style I guess as well and then I'm carrying my well, Kankin, I love how the little red ties in with the red of the boots and the red of the scarf. I feel like, like I said, I'm having a moment for red and I feel like it's a vibe. I look very tired in the face and puffy because I am. But this is the fit. I will show you what I wear to dinner tonight, which I feel like is just going to be another riff of this. But we'll see. See you then. Oh, I just fell over. <laughs> Hey friends, I thought I would show you my evening outfit. Apologies for the lighting. As I mentioned, we're in a hotel room, so the lighting is not great. But I'm wearing kind of what I was wearing earlier. It's taking the look from day to night, which I saw a funny meme going around that's like, 
like magazines growing up made me feel like I would be taking the look from day to night way more often than I do. But I actually find it quite useful when I'm A, packing to go somewhere or if I'm trying to get dressed with like minimal effort. So I've kept on the same jeans. Let's see, we're working with minimal tripod back here. Kept on the same jeans and the same pop of red with the socks, which I think look really cool. And then I'm wearing um, some loafers. <laughs> these are just some classic black loafers. I got these on Vinted. They're originally and other stories. They're hardly worn. They're like a very classic, quite masculine shape, which is what I was going for. You know, loafers are very in this season. I've definitely owned plenty of pairs of loafers in my life, but um, these new ones are the only ones in my collection right now. I think they look very cool, very smart. I'm just in the process of breaking them in. Then on top, I have this sheer blouse, which I normally wear. It's like my very, one of my only like very going out tops, like a friend's birthday. If I ever step foot in a nightclub, this is what I will be wearing. Um, it's like a super sheer polka dot um, blouse. I bought it vintage in Paris two summers ago, I think, for like a few quid, like it was super cheap. But because we're only going out for dinner, we're going to a really nice Indian restaurant. I didn't want to wear a bra, just didn't really feel like that. So I've got underneath like a racer tank top, which I'm not sure is like the perfect fit for it, but I think it works and I feel cute in it. And then my headband is the vintage, um, the Andal Stories one, I've been wearing loads. And these earrings are secondhand. I took them, well not took them, my friend gave them to me, sure they didn't suit her a couple of years ago. I think they're originally Zara, they're like these massive, almost like, tacky on purpose big pearl ones but i love to wear them for an evening outfit and i'm just carrying because i didn't bring a bag with me an old sort of clutch makeup bag this is from and other stories where i got this as a birthday gift maybe three or four years ago um but it fits everything i need and it's perfect so that's the look apologies for the lighting but i'll catch up with you tomorrow morning when i'm wearing an outfit to go to the art gallery Hey friends, got another outfit for you today. We're off to Harlem. There's a David Hockney exhibition tour I'm sitting like just in the corner because I needed to move to get good sunshine. It's beautifully sunny today, so I'm wearing sunglasses. I'll start with these. They are from Mango, but I got them on Vinted. They're very retro and like on trend. I think I paid about four euros for them. Um, I have some really nice sunglasses, but I like to test out a new style for cheap. If, before I'm going to invest in like a proper pair because I do have bad eyesight so I like to wear like good lens sunglasses but I'm not sure this style is going to stay around forever so I was happy to buy these just to test them out so yeah they're from Mango but I got them on Vinted. My headband is and other stories you've seen it loads before and I love it still. Put some makeup on today so that's nice. My gold earrings are normal Anna Luisa. My necklaces you've explained before. My sweatshirt is from uh and other stories it's old i actually noticed it's got a hole in the back i don't rate and other stories well i don't think i would purchase from them again i think our cat and cause natural fibers last a lot longer for me personally this is tom's tie-on jacket um that you've seen before it's like a down mm, i don't know if it's actually down but it's like a really warm but very thin microfiber gilet underneath i'm wearing this super soft like almost aqua blue cos top that has thumb holes which I love and I love the way it just peeks out the bottom with you can also see a tiny bit on the neck and it's like an unexpected colour for me but it's so soft I bought it mostly just to hang around the house in but threw it on today and I'm really warm in very minimal layers because this is merino wool this is 100% wool and like I say this is like a thermal one so it's um really good layering look for this kind of weather it's sunny today like I said but it's still like only 10 degrees but pairing together all these natural fibres means that I'm warm, without, I'm warm without looking bulky, which I love. My normal Kankin bag, we're going to not go, like I said, but Tom's carrying my book and my water bottle for me, which is very kind. Wearing the same Levi's jeans I've been wearing all weekend, which at first I was like, that's boring to show you the same jeans. But like, I feel like that's practical if you've come for a weekend away, if you're staying in a hotel or you just have a smaller wardrobe. Like, you wear the same trousers over and over again and jeans you really don't need to wash very often at all. So... These are my same staple Levi's on, and then I've got my New Balance trainers. I don't love them as an option with this, just because of the lilac, I feel like clashes with the blue. But as I've said before in these videos, I don't have any super neutral trainers yet. I'm actually getting two new pairs of shoes for Christmas, one from Tom, one from my mum. But like shoes are like feast or famine for me. I don't buy them for years. 
and then suddenly I want to redo my entire shoe wardrobe and I think my feet have grown in the last year so that's very strange so I'm replacing a lot of my shoes at the moment and I will get new neutral trainers to wear hopefully in December so that's the fit we are off to see Hockney perhaps I'll put a clip in or two because I'm not actually vlogging or talking about books at all this weekend in any other videos so yes let's go to Harlem Hey friends, it's been a few days. I took some time away from getting dressed because I was unwell as usual. So this is a belated midweek outfit. Um, I'm just running errands today, working from home, chill, casual, comfortable, but I got some new trousers. I thought I would show you. I'm not sure I featured this style of trouser before in a video, but I do own it in another color and I often put it on my Instagram, sorry. So these are from LF Markey, they're called the Jameson Trouser and I have them in a cream off-white colour and I just got them in navy blue, they were half price, I bought my other pair half price as well, LF Markey's a cool independent designer um, and I posted about these on Instagram when they went on sale and I know a couple of you bought them so hope you have received yours. Um, they are like essentially a smart tracksuit bottom, they're elastic waist, a thick heavyweight cotton but they have a zip and a button and this smart pocket detailing and then what I think makes them extra smart is the pockets on the bum. I love their little logo as well but they really elevate a tracksuit bottom. They're just a standard straight leg, no tightening around the ankle which I think also adds to them. But they are literally like wearing tracksuit bottoms. They're so comfy but ideal for work from home, running errands and even just like out to dinner. I honestly think you can make them look really quite smart. So I'm wearing them today with uh, my Birkenstock clogs my wool socks this actually quite lightweight cable knit jumper i got this years ago at a car boot sale it's got it's handmade it's got a label in the back that says made by so and so it's 100 wool but it's quite a open knit you can kind of see my green t-shirt through it it's um definitely a more lightweight and malleable like well washed jumper it's not as thick as some of the other wool jumpers i have but it's perfect for a day like today where it's a little chilly in the air, but nothing too crazy. And then on top, I'm just wearing my military liner, which I throw on with everything. Um, a classic cut. I know these are all over the high street now, but please go on eBay or Depop or Vinted and search X military liner and you will find loads that are way cooler, way more unique and way cheaper than that Frankie Shop one. That's like 300 pounds or something. So I've had this for a couple of years. I bought it in Edinburgh. I think in 2019 um, and I've worn it so much since and now they are very trendy so would recommend grabbing one of these lightweight jackets if you do see them around um, and that being said those are my outfits oh, I'm wearing the same sunglasses I featured earlier um, in this video but that being said this is a week ish of outfits I think there's seven outfits in here please let me know if you are continuing to enjoy these if you have any comments about where things are from etc I would try and respond and put links if you're interested if anything is uh like available firsthand and if you want more outfit content you can follow me on instagram and i don't think i have anything else to say just let me know if you want other types of style videos i was thinking about doing a video about ways to dress like to style those levi's i just got recently and maybe a video on my loafers um so yeah let me know and i will see you guys in the next one bye